well-deserved standing ovation. Magical by Baez. Baez trying to score! Hi everyone, this is Heidi Watney. Welcome to the show. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. Stepping in, Jesse Winker, and we are set for baseball here Leading this evening. For Cincinnati, the designated hitter, Jesse Winker. First delivery to him on the way. And he starts him out with one high and tight. Ball one. Oh, 
This is on the ground over to first. And he'll flip it over to Lester for the out. Ready now, Joey Votto. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the pitch. And this is foul tipped at the plate right off the arm of the catcher behind the plate. Ouch. Temperature here at game time, a comfortable 75 degrees tonight. Votto behind, but still dangerous even on 0-2. Still no balls and two strikes. One out, nobody on. Now a swing and a miss by Votto, and he'll head back to the dugout as out number two. Batting third. Stepping in, base. Mike Moustakis. Mike. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. At the plate, Jason Hayward. He'll lead things off here in the bottom here half of the first. For the Cubs. The right fielder. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. That evens it up 1 1. And now a pitch on the way. Yep, that ball went out. fouled off you don't see too many guys at this level be laid on off speed pitches right there that tells me he was totally sitting on something else or was going automatic take and it's fouled away the 2-2 two -two one more time right side and right into the shift and there's one gone to start the night So that one away here with the bases the empty, field. and that'll bring up the former yeah. first rounder in Pittsburgh ah. area native Ian Happ. Right. Sinkers in there, no balls and a strike. Oh, bases are empty, one man out. Gets the fastball by him oh, here, yeah. and he's in control 0 oh, 2. That's a well placed fastball right there, just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. Shebler is there now, and he has it. Two gone. That Anthony is Rizzo stands in now. Baseman. No one aboard for Anthony. him, and two gone here in the first. Rizzo. Now a swing and a miss oh. as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Not much you can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Left side, but well foul. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And another foul ball. Two out, nobody on. Back up the middle, fielded by Galvis. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning, and now Derek Dietrich strides into the batter's box. Derek. Now the pinch. Hey! The wind up and the 0 1. Sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. 
Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's the out number one. Tucker Barnhart. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Tucker Barnhart is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at bat. It's 0-2 now. This one's flared toward left center, and that's in there. Base hit. Batting fifth, the center fielder, Scott. And that brings up Shebler. Scott Shebler as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Pulled toward right center field. Hayward has a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. The right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now Lester's 0-1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Standing in, Kyle Schwarber, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The left fielder. The pitch. Kyle Schwarber. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Schwarber is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pull guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the heart of the plate, he's going to absolutely crush it. But anything going away from him goes right into his bat path. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Standing in, Chris Bryant. Batting fifth. The third baseman, Chris Bryant. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. One and one the count now. A ball and a strike now to Bryant. Ball inside. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Bottom of the second here with no score. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And stepping up to hit next, the catcher Wilson Contreras. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. A little bit low that time, maybe outside as well. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And before the 2-1 pitch here, time called at home plate. Can't find the zone there, and it's 3-1. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three-ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. And he likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. 
Shebler is there, and he'll make the catch to return. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez. The third base. First pitch Number coming. Seven. Here it is. Eugenio Suarez. The windup and the 0 1. And he fouls this one off. Lester's 2 0 home. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the that inning. The short Digging in, Freddie Freddy Galvis. Galvis. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Swung on and missed, one and one. Third inning, no score to this point. No contact there, and it's one and two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. The batter. Coming to the plate now, Jesse Winker. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Hit down the line at first. And a heck of an effort over there at first, but it'll be for naught as this is a foul ball. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Up with it, Contreras. And the throw to first ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And into bat next, the versatile the weapon, top. Javier Baez. Not shortstop. Here comes the Javier. first pitch. Baez. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0-1. Oh, Sent on the ground out to second. Mostakis has it. And quickly, yeah. there's one down to lead off the frame. So in now for Chicago, Steven Souza. Steven Souza Jr. First delivery to him on the way. Cubs to this point have yet to break into the hit column. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. And he chased it in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down. And is the second that baseman, is Jason Kipnis. The second this guy is still looking Get at a there. zero in the hit column. Get there. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Two, two mid-90s fastballs, and you're down 0-2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pot commit. You're either all in on another fastball, or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. set for the start of the fourth and set to go is the veteran first baseman Joey Votto this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case lifted in the air to straightaway center Hap is there and he has it for the first out So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Moustakas. Now the first pitch here from Lester. No balls and a strike to count. 
Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. 0 2 now from Lester. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And that's just shy of the baskets and off the ivy. And he is in at second base with a one out double. The white fielder, number 32, Derek Dietrich. Into the box, Derek Dietrich. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally do damage with them, but he wasn't able to catch up with that one. A ball and two strikes now. Now Lester deals the one two. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Center fielder coming on. He gets there, and that's the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The batter. The catcher. So a runner in scoring Tucker. position with two men Barnhart. gone. And next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. He's set and the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Mustakis stands at second with two gone. Uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. Ugh, is that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. One ball. Oh, it looked like he was towing an anchor there. One and two. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that will bring up the multi-gold glover, up. Jason Hayward. The right fielder, Jake Day. First Hayward. pitch of the at-bat. Pitch is popped up. Suarez has room in foul territory. And no one will get this one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And that's the first hit in this one for the Cubbies. Now batting. The center field. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Galvis. Over to Votto, and they're able to get them both. Settling in now, Anthony Rizzo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he'll miss the target away with a fastball. It's 1-0. One and one, the count of the Cubs' first baseman. And a half hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. And he'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Here's another one, too. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning.
Riding in once again, Scott Schebler. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The center fielder. Scott. First pitch on its way. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Hey, I get it. You want to be aggressive, but man, these guys are swinging at everything. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. The bat. So the bases are the empty bat. with one man gone. And the right handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The third baseman, number seven. A Eugenio to the plate now. A Eugenio Suarez as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And this one's in the dirt. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Digging in for his now second at bat, Freddie Galvis. He looked to bounce back Galvis. after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shy. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring Leading up the outfielder, the Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. First pitch coming, here it is. Nope. Just off the inside corner with the sinker, ruled the ball. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Fouled off. The 1-1. One, one. And it's fouled away. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Two ball, two strikes. Oh, and they pulled the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the now second time tonight. The third baseman. So one away Red. here with the bases empty. And oh, into yeah. bat next, former National League MVP Chris Bryant. Here comes the first pitch. On the ground to the left side. Galvis is there. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Up next to the top. Digging in, Wilson the Contreras. Catcher. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for Correct. 1 so far. Gray's ready, and the pitch. In there, 0 and 1. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And he'll step off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there. One and two. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Barnhart finds it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and standing in is the DH, Jesse Winker. Jesse Winker. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
Oh, right back at Lester on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Ready for another shot now. Joey Votto. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Here's Kipnis now, the second baseman. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. The batter number one. So stepping in, Mike Moustakis. One for two with a double on his line thus far. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go. He turns on it and sends it deep down the line in right. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. In now, Derek Dietrich. The right field. As Lester jumps Derek. ahead of him here with strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Popped him up. Baez calls for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Javier Baez. He'll look to get things going here in the Cubs' half of the sixth. First pitch of the at-bat. Baez. Here's the pitch. Grounded weakly toward third. Right to him. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now batter. To the plate now that's is the designated hitter, hitter Steven Sousa, looking to put the ball Sousa. in play here. He went down Sousa. on strikes in his first at-bat. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Gray ready with the 0-1. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. That's an awesome 12-6 hook right there. Look at the depth, spin rate, nasty downward tilt on that pitch. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes now for the second that. time second tonight. Base, First Get pitch there. coming. Here it is. Kipnis. Jason Kipnis will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Another 0-2 coming. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. That's a great job of holding up right there. You have two strikes on you. You're trying to protect the plate. It's difficult to not get super aggressive at the plate. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Racing back, the right fielder, and it's gone! So that'll bring now up Jason Hayward. Right Jason Hayward. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. And now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. Here's the one and one delivery. A swing and a ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly. In a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. 
seventh inning ready to roll. And next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. The catcher. Tucker Barnhart. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he fouls this one off. Now Lester's 0 1. Grounded to first. Rizzo was there. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Into the now box that, now. Scott Shevler. It's been an 0 for 2 wow. effort for him to this point. Grounded down the third baseline. Full extension, but he can't make the catch. That's strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Ball. Too high. One and two. I got to count one and two. Shebler even at two balls and two strikes. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit on the ground to third. Bryant's got it. And that's the second out. Now in the box, Nicholas Castellanos. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. This is foul right side. Two out, nobody on. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Last half of the seventh here, and set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Happ. The center fielder, Ian. Robert Stevenson gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Dietrich is there, one away. Ah, oh, it's flagged down deep in the hole. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Rizzo! Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one, two. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kyle Schwarber. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Stevenson is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll off. And we'll have to leave it there as this is. Stepping up now, Eugenio Suarez. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Now 
Now the first pitch here from Lester. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. Grounded back up the middle. Baez ranging to his right. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So striding forward now, Freddie Galvis. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Hit in the air to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Up Back to the top of the out. Reds lineup now and stepping in, Jesse Winker. Jesse. He could really use a knock Winker. here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Back up the middle, and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. The first baseman, number 19, Joey in is Joey Votto now. In the dirt here. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. He's gone back-to-back -back with off-speed stuff to start this A-B, and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards, but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge it. Ready with the 2-1. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Half is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll give way to the third the baseman, top. Chris Bryant. The third baseman. He's Red. ready. Here's the first offering. Ryan. Swing and a miss oh, out in front yeah. of a changeup. Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate, somebody who was sitting on fastball and ready to do damage, and he was able to slow him down right there and get him off balance. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And he makes the throw to first. Bryant is retired, and there's one away. Now batting. Checker. Riding in, Wilson no Contreras. Fair. No hits to John this point. Rarest. Hit on the ground toward the left. Reined in. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So digging in now, Javier Baez. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Baez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Grounded to the right. Taken in by Vado. On to first. And this will remain a tie ball game as the... Stepping into the box, Mike Mustakis. He went deep last time up. First offering on its way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Like that pitch there, lefty on lefty matchup. Curve ball away to a lefty. Smart pitch. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So now the Reds cleanup hitter, Derek Dietrich. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Now the 0-1. Oh, Not man. close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. That's Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. Shot toward right center. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. He's around first, heading for two. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Now batting, the catcher, Tucker Barnhart. Kyle Ryan takes over on the mound now in a tie ball game. There is one gone here at the top of inning number nine. Kyle. 
Aristides Aquino oh, yeah. will be called upon here to he hit with the game left. on the line. Number 44. And the indication from the dugout comes. It looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play up possibility next, with one away. The center fielder, Scott Kepler. Nick Senzel will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of Number runners 15. aboard with only one out Nick. in the inning. Senzel. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Ryan is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. Can't catch up to that pitch, and it's a ball and a strike. First and second now, one man out. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Hit hard, but foul. Ready with another two-strike offering. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Lined to the right side. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. And that'll bring home the runner from third to make this a 2-1 to one ball game. The left fielder, number two, Nick Tatiana. And here's indication from the dugout of an intentional pass, and that will load the bases the here base and set up seven. the force at the plate. Eugenio. Alec Mills enters the game with one gun Ladies in the seven. top of inning number right. nine. Please. Now pitching for the Chicago Cubs. First pitch Number on its three. way. Alex. Eugenio Suarez is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. From the belt, the pitch. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. Uh, tough to get fooled any worse than that. He's in a hole now, one and two. Hey, I love the aggressiveness right here and wanting to be a hero, but this is where you got to tell yourself to relax a little bit. I had an old coach tell me one time, when the bases are loaded, just concern yourself with getting a guy in from third. The 2-2. Two -two. And he might get them all home as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Catch will be made in front of the Ivy, and now here comes the runner from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's now three to one. Big spot now here, first and second, Ooh. two men gone, Freddie. and up next, the former Galvez. Philly shortstop Freddie Galvez. And that misses inside, one and oh. Little dribbler up the first baseline. Now the one and one pitch. This is pulled into right. Hayward will get there and he puts it away to retire the shot. Bottom of the inning now, and striding forward, the designated for the hitter, Cubs. Steven Souza. The designated hitter, Steven Souza Jr. Your Victor Caratini will be summoned to pinch hit here Cubs. to start the bottom of the Number ninth. Seven. And remember, they Victor. need two to tie, three Garrett to win, so he's Cini. got his work cut out for him here.
fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. The throw down to first, one away. Digging in and looking for more, Jason Kipnis, one for two in the ball game thus far. Kipnis popped him up. Galvis is there and quickly two are gone here, and it's not looking good for the home nine. Now batting. Right fielder. And now back to the Big leadoff day. spot in the Cubs lineup. Hayward. Stepping forward, Jason Hayward. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Rysel Iglesias takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. And he fouls this one off. Two run game, last of the ninth with two away. Again, another foul ball. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. Right side defense aligned perfectly and Hayward has a base hit. The center fielder number eight at the plate Ian Happ as he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half at strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hap with a two and one count now. A runner on first with two away. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one run game, he doesn't want to walk you, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo! Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. Two men are on with two men out. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Sometimes guys get a little less aggressive pitching with a couple of runners on base, but not here. That was two good fastballs to take control of the bat and get the count to 0-2. Did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the